Just to get you started, I wanted to go over with you some supplies you may need along the way. You do not need this right now, but eventually you will need it, okay? And then you're going to start building a collection, okay? So let's get on with it and let me show you the various tools and the various threads that you can use. Now mind you, this is a very small list. It may look like a lot, but it's not, okay? So starting with our threads. This here is Aunt Lydia's crochet cotton size 10. You can tap with it, okay? That's a good thread for a beginner to start with because it's inexpensive. You get a lot of bang for your buck, okay? And then when you get your technique down and everything settled, you're ready to rock and roll, you can move on to the more expensive threads. But for starters, I would get two different colors of the Aunt Lydia's size 10 or whatever the cheapest thread is that you can find. Just make sure it's a size 10 cotton thread, okay? Now here's the Aunt Lydia's in a size 20. As a beginner, you do not want to do a size 20 unless you've got really good eyesight. It's a very small thread, okay? And it takes some getting used to. So with all beginners, we try to tell them, start with your size 10s, okay? Now here we have embroidery, machine embroidery thread. You can tap with it, but you can see it's very, very small. It's about a size 100. 80 to 100 on tatting thread. To uh, tat with this, you have to use more than one strand. So you have to be well versed in tatting in order to use this. This is a polyester thread. Okay, here we have a size 10 in Elizabeth tatting thread. It's almost the same width as the Aunt Lydia's. Let me get the Aunt Lydia's out here if I can find the end of it. There we go. And you can see the Aunt Lydia's is a three ply. The Elizabeth is a six ply. It's a little heavier, okay, and it's got a lot more twist to it. It is gas singed, okay, that makes it stiffer so you don't have to starch. You can steam block your uh, Elizabeth and it'll be fine. With the Aunt Lydia's you have to starch, okay? So that's a size 10, okay, in Elizabeth. We also have size 80 in Elizabeth. It comes in a package like this. A lot of the local craft stores are starting to carry Elizabeth threads, which is great because it is a good tatting thread. We also have size 20. Okay, they also have other sizes. Their website, the link to it will be down below the video so you can order from Handy Hands and they are the makers of this. We also have DMC. Okay, this is DMC Sibilia. They have the coordinate, but it only comes in two colors, Ecru and white. Okay, we also have DMC uh, pearl cotton size 12, okay? It's a very small thread. Like I say, when you get used to tatting, you can step into that. Here is the pearl cotton size 8, okay? It's a little thicker. Pearl cotton's pretty flimsy when you tat with it. It gives a delicacy to your tatting if you're doing an edging on something. This is a real pretty thread to use because it's lacy, it's light, it's billowy, okay? So there's your threads. Now we're getting into shuttles. We have post shuttles, and they come in a variety of shapes, sizes, and handiwork. You have plastic, you have metal, you have wood, uh, you've got silver. You've got antique ones. If you run across any antique ones, grab them up because they're hard to find. These, Some of these shuttles date back to when, you know, Queen Elizabeth was around. So, if you can get your hands on some antique shuttles, try the antique shops. You'll find them. 
a lot of people don't know what they are and they just price them dirt cheap but then there are people that do know what they are so be careful what you're getting okay then we have a GR8 you'll hear uh, tatters talk about the GR8 this is a resin GR8 and it takes sewing machine bobbins uh, it makes it nice because if you want to wind your bobbin you can wind it on the sewing machine with your tatting thread whatever you're using and uh, go on and load your shuttle and get busy with it whereas the air lights and the ponies you have to hand wind okay but they also tend to get loose okay and to prevent that you want to get some page reinforcements and stick them on there a little sliver of rubber band down in here will help okay uh, because as you use your air lights and your ponies and stuff the tension on this gets really really loose and before you know it you've got like 15 page reinforcements sitting there and your air light shot okay so one of the things that I have found along with the reinforcements with the air lights if you run really hot water and let them soak in it for a little bit it'll pull that plastic back down some but it doesn't last long okay they're inexpensive you know I call them my disposable shuttles because they don't cost a lot so there's the air lights those are most commonly found in your craft stores okay this is the moonlight this is a new one that's put out by handy hands it's got a little pick on the end a little crochet hook end so you can pull your picos through stuff like that you'll learn all that in the class okay then you need a pico gauge now these are put out by handy hands i've got two of them one this is the original pico gauge and this is the newest one this one's for left-handed and right-handed tatters this one's strictly right-handed because there's no writing however as you get better with your tatting you'll be able to use this and without the numbers you know which one you're going to use okay um, this one is a little thicker in depth than the original which means your picos are going to be a little bigger okay now as far as pico gauges you can make those out of credit cards old credit cards you can make them out of card stock um, I get these little things in the mail all the time they're little pieces of paper cardboard like a business card and they're pretty thick and uh, I just cut them out you know these are my traveling go-to pico gauges that way I don't lose my expensive ones and I just you know mark them off and cut them out you can do that some people use uh, those index cards fold them up to the depth that they want height that they want and they've got a pico gauge I've taken magnets you know how you get a phone book it's got a magnet on the back I cut them off and they work great in little tins uh, candy tins like Altoid tins and you can stick them to the side of the Altoid tin and there's your pico gauge there all the time okay so just a little helper okay now you're gonna need a crochet hook if your shuttle does not have a pick on the end uh, picks can be like this one okay like this one see it it's a little peg or it could be a crochet hook like this all right and like what the moonlight has and what the GR8 has you can also find them with little ones like this on the metal ones then you can find shuttles that have no pick these are the ones you need the crochet hook for alright you need a pair of scissors good pair of close cutting scissors uh, embroidery scissors are the best I mean you get out a pair of scissors you cut paper with them huge things you're gonna cut some tatting and you don't want to do that you want to get you a good pair of uh, embroidery scissors close work scissors stay away from your big monster scissors try to get something with a little cushion grip okay because you're really getting into fine tiny places so a good pair of embroidery scissors will be great and of course tatting needles if you're not a shuttle tatter you're going to need 
various sizes of tatting needles. Right now for a beginner what you need is a size 5 tatting needle and size 10 thread. Okay, For the basic, 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 just now walking out of the store, tatter, you need thread, needles, or one shuttle to start with. I would get two because you will use two down the road, okay? But needles, thread in two different colors, and shuttles if you're going to be a shuttle tatter, scissors, and a crochet hook. The crochet hook you want is a size 12, okay? That is a good size crochet hook. Uh, to use if you're going to be using size 10 thread get a size 10 crochet hook okay uh, the 12 is for the smaller threads and it doesn't nicky your threads okay so that is the gist of it okay for a brand new beginner you need thread your tool of choice a pair of scissors and a crochet hook that's not a lot of investment it's not like going out and I want to learn how to crochet and giving seven dollars for a ball of yarn and then your crochet hooks another six dollars. You can get Aunt Lydia's thread for like two forty nine a ball and it's a huge amount of thread on these balls. You can get tatting shuttles, these little sewmates or clovers. You can get five of them in a pack for like $4.59. So tatting is a very expensive art to get into. You don't get into the expensive part of tatting until you start buying actual tatting thread. That is where your cost is. Or you start buying shuttles like this that are handmade. These are made by Veronica Arkadjeva out of Russia and she sent me a whole bunch of shuttles so if you see one you like let me know and we can be sure to get you one alright so on that note enjoy your adventure in tatting and I'll see you in class happy tatting thank you <music>